Hey everybody, welcome back to the vlog. Thank you once again for joining me for Tea Time. I appreciate each and every one of you for being here. Today we have some focus. This stuff is really, really good. I need a little focus today. I need it. Well, welcome to 2020, guys. Happy New Year. Brand new year, a lot of new possibilities. It's gonna be a good year, I have that feeling. Really positive year this year. Now, I'm gonna be doing a review today. I don't do a lot of reviews because there's a lot of products out there that people send to me and I look at them like, ah, and I just send them back. I just don't wanna review them. This is a quite, I would think, an interesting product that I think that you might be interested in. It's really, let's call it low cost. I wouldn't say cheap, I would say low cost, all right? And I'm gonna show you why. Now, what is this product? As you can see, there is a massive hole on this side of me today. And what's going to go in that hole is a projection from this LED projector that I have that I wanna take a look at. It. Now, the projector is called a Goody LED or a mini LED projector. Now it does have dual speakers built into it and it does do 1080p maximum. So if you're looking for a projector that does 4K, this is not for you, move on, <laughs> all right? But if 1080p is good enough for what you're doing, this might be something that you want to take a look at. Now, I'll tell you the price right out the get-go here, right? Right out of the gate. The price is like $100, $109, I think, $110. Bucks. Really cheap. And when I saw that price, I'm like, I don't know. Well, I took a look at it, and it's pretty cool. I want to show it to you, all right? Now, what's in the box? Basically, you start out with that LED mini projector, an HDMI cable, you have a remote control. Also, it'll provide you with an AV cable as well as your power cable. You have your user manual, a warranty card. Now, what's interesting about this warranty card is it is three years. Most of these projectors are like 90 days. Some of them are one year. There's very few that give you a full three years worth of coverage, and this does. So they definitely stand behind this, which is kind of cool. I like that. I wish they would have provided AAA batteries for the remote. Guys, it only costs like a few cents. Put them in there, all right? <laughs> okay, now let's get into what it has and what it doesn't have. Now, as far as inputs, it does have two HDMI slots on there, one AV slot. That gives you a lot of possibilities, and I'll get into those possibilities later on in this video. As far as output, of course, you have your projection, your picture, and you have audio output. Now, that audio output comes through a standard audio jack. You can use it for headphones, or you can pump it into some type of external audio system, whatever. As far as using this unit, it's about as easy as it's going to get. You simply turn the power on, you take that lens cover off. I wish it actually worked that lens cover. That's for another time. You simply pick your input source, adjust your kickstand, and then change your keystone. If you don't know what keystone is, basically is that tilt forward, backward type of thing. And finally, use your focus ring to dial it in. That's it. When you want to turn it off, double click your power button and you're all set. So very, very super simple. Not a lot to know, not a lot to do. You can literally set it up within seconds, all right? So that's really good. Now, what I find interesting here is the size that it will do. The smallest size that it will be able to focus in on is to create a 32 inch image. And the maximum size is 200 inches, guys, 200 inches. That is massive, right? That's massive. Now, what am I doing? I'm gonna project something that's gonna be about 72 inches, about six feet on the wall, just to see what it looks like at that size. Now, it does provide about 4,500 lux is what they say. And bear in mind, this is a $100 unit. So what we're gonna do is I'm gonna jump in here. I ended up connecting my Xbox. It's an Xbox One 
into an Elgato HD. Why? Because I wanted to get a clear feed of what I'm showing you. And then from the Elgato into the projector itself. So we'll have the projection. We'll also have the clean feed so we can look at it in both ways. Now, let's just shut off the lights and get right into it. I'm gonna power this thing on real quick. I'm gonna turn off my lights. Let's kill these blue lights and let's kill the main lights. I'm going to disappear here. Here we go. <laughs> you know, I love that, right guys? I love that. I'm gonna go ahead and load up Minecraft real quick. Make sure that my head is out of this image. So as far as the clarity and the contrast and how that 4500 Lux does, at this distance, it's approximately about seven feet away from the wall. It does a pretty decent job. I mean, yes, we can use even more. We always want more Lux. We always want more looms. We always want more light, right? But for what this is, it's not bad. And if you see here, I mean, this looks pretty nice. I mean, it's smooth. The actual quality is, is there, it's dead on. It's nice and sharp. Let me go and beat a tree, right? Isn't that what you do in Minecraft? You just start beating trees right out the get-go to make like a box or something? Yeah, I'm gonna leave this to the kids to play. But anyways, I'm gonna just run around a little bit. Hey, we got a sheep. What's up, Mr. Sheep? <laughs> So it looks pretty decent. I mean, it looks nice. I see that it's getting dark. That's that's gonna be good, probably end up dead. But all in all, I mean, just the look of it, it looks really nice. It looks sharp. I don't think that it's, it's not stuttery at all. The projection itself looks really smooth. Not bad at all, I like it. Now, bear in mind here, this is an Xbox One. You could use this in a PS3, a PS4, the Xbox One that I'm using it, a Wii, whatever. Let's go ahead and turn the lights back on. I'm gonna go ahead and take this back to the home menu of Xbox. There you go, you can see Minecraft on the wall. That's all right, I'm gonna leave that for now. Now, let me just say, the actual contrast behind it really is quite good. Okay, I actually made this smaller, but I wanted you to be able to see it larger because I want to push the unit a little bit. This is six feet. A lot of people would use this unit at around six feet, right? You're not going to be most likely doing a projection and projecting something 32 inches. It doesn't make sense, okay? I don't have 21 feet available to me to make a 200 <laughs> inch image. So this is about what I can do, which isn't bad. It really isn't bad. Once again, remember, this is a $100 unit, $110 unit. Very, very cheap. Now, what, what can you do with this? Okay, obviously we're playing Minecraft, right? This would be kind of cool if you had like kids and you wanna go and project Minecraft and let them go ahead and beat trees life size, which is kind of cool. It does accept just about any type of input that's HDMI. So that means you could use PS3, PS4, your Xbox 360, Xbox One that I'm using, maybe a Wii. It will also support an iPhone or any other kind of smartphone. You can go and pump that into the projector itself. So a lot of people are watching, like let's say Netflix on their phone, they can actually now watch it on their wall without a TV at all, which is really quite interesting. You can also use it for, let's say you want to watch the football game or if you wanted to share photos using, let's say a hard drive or using that SD card slot. I think that is fantastic. So the, there's a lot, I mean, as far as your mind could be creative is what you can do with this thing, all right? There's a lot of cool things that you can do. Now, some of the deficiencies, like I said, of course, I would like to have seen a battery, two, two AAA batteries in there. It's kind of stupid not putting them there. I would like to see that that cover on the lens be a little bit better. It would actually fit in there a little bit better because it just falls out. I did notice there was a slight little bit of a scratch on the glass on the lens itself when it came. So QC, even though quality control is quite good on the unit, I do like that QC is actually written, handwritten on the unit. So you know someone is actually looking at it. I think that's fantastic. I love that they do that. But that's just like a little, a little tidbit. Not much else. As far as the clarity on it, the contrast, the brightness, it is definitely sufficient and it's more than sufficient for $100. I really didn't think I was going to get anything that great at all for 100 bucks, but 
for hundred dollars, it is quite good. It really is quite good. Like I said, you got 4,500 lux as far as the power of the unit. So it's not a ton. If I was going to use this for a presentation, it just simply wouldn't happen. I don't think that this is for a PowerPoint presentation or anything else like that. It's more for movies, all right? It's more for video games and that type of thing. If you need to do something like a PowerPoint or some type of presentation where you need to have just rock solid text on the wall, you need to look elsewhere. This is not for that. And you're gonna be paying a lot more money. I mean, I have some units that we bring in that are $1,500, $2,000, really amazing, amazing projectors, but that's not what this is for. And it was not designed for that, and they're not claiming it to be that, which is very, very important. A lot of these companies, they will say that it does all kinds of things all the way to the stars, and then when you go and review it, you're like, well, it doesn't do half of that. Well, what's nice is what they said that it will do is exactly what it does. So I do appreciate that. So anyways, guys, this is the Goody Mini LED projector. I would have to give it a thumbs up just for what it does for the price. I think that it is a really good value. And that is one of the things that I've said in the past on this channel. Most people today are looking for value. They are very, very value conscious. Am I getting my money's worth? And I think for a hundred bucks, you would definitely be getting your money's worth with this projector. So what I'm going to do is in the comment area below in the description, I'm going to leave a link to where you can go check it out on Amazon. That is my Amazon link. So if you use it, I will get 13 cents, <laughs> maybe less, I don't know, but I would appreciate the support if you want to go and pick it up, use it. It doesn't really make a difference. I'm not getting paid to review this unit. They have not given me any money to review it. You know how I am. I'm 100% unbiased on this channel, period. What I see is what I'm gonna tell you. If there's problems, I'm gonna tell you, all right? So I hope you do appreciate that. Once again, in the comment area and in the description, I will put that link. Go check it out. If you wanna pick it up, pick it up. If you wanna go and find it somewhere else to go pick up instead of Amazon, just simply look for Goody, that's G-U-D-E-E, -E, mini LED projector. You'll find it wherever. The price is probably gonna be the same, 100, 110 bucks. Really, really cheap. So guys, that is it. Going forward for the new year, like I said, I am excited. There's a bunch of reviews that I'm gonna be doing in the beginning of this year, and then I might taper them down a little bit, because for me, when I do reviews, it's a lot of back work. It's a lot of setup. Like all this probably took like four hours just to set this up, just to show you and to tell you and to do this review. So it takes a lot of time. So if there's something that I really do think that would be something of interest for you guys, then I will do the review. If not, then I just simply won't. I'll send it back to the vendor. That's just it. Anyways, I hope you enjoy this. If you have, please. Throw me a big thumbs up as always. I really would appreciate that. And slam that subscribe button so you can get all my content when it becomes available and click the bell icon somewhere around Minecraft area here. So when my videos do become available, you will be notified of it immediately. And finally, head over to my website, jchristina.com where you can find all the photography tools that I've invented for you and me over the years, and hopefully there's something there that you might like, and if there is, please pick it up and support me and my family. So guys, I am out once again, first video for the new year, 2020. I can't believe it, it is awesome. Once again, happy new year to you and your family, many blessings. Take care, we'll see you soon.